Okay, YouTube. I'm trying to build this LS engine run stand. I'm trying to wire up the actual coil igniter module. And this is an MS3. Kind of got it a while back for a four cylinder setup originally. And per the instructions, the ignition module, it only has one wire to drive it. How is it supposed to drive all the coil packs? I understand batch firing, but even the four cylinder I wired up on my last one, I had an ignition A and ignition B. All I have is one. Is it batch firing them all at the same time? And then if so, how am I supposed to wire up these? Obviously I got my ground. And then originally when I ordered this, it was for a four cylinder. So I assume he blacked them out to show how to wire it for four individual coils. I'm trying to figure out if I only have one ignition. Am I supposed to like put them all in series, split that wire, go in eight times on one side or even just two times and then split it to have a batch fire from one side to the other side and do i even need this igniter module for these coil packs and do we still refer to them as coil packs being there just one for each individual coil does it have a igniter inside I'm still new to it trying to understand why we got to have an igniter in there i keep hearing terms referred to it'll backlash into the computer if it doesn't have the igniter could knock out the computer get the other question also I see injector one and injection two I don't understand why we have two outputs and then they're joined and then how does it batch fire on an LS is it left bank right bank or is it crisscross fire to different ones because I saw an illustration somewhere that was explaining it goes in an awkward order. Uh, how do those hook up for injectors?